Assalamu alaikum, my students, good evening. Uh, today we will continue the class related to uh, phonetics and phonology course. And the lesson is about complex words. So in the briefest chapter, chapter 10, we talked about word stress and or chapter, the, the, the previous one that we mentioned in previous 10 that uh, it's about stress with simple words and here we need to continue something related to complex words. So complex words, it means the word looks like a bit longer with its uh, maybe suffixes, prefixes like here. We have prefixes like pair, sub, com, and we have also um, another like with prefixes or with suffixes here another mono, dia, uh, all these words will give another way to transcribe them into sentences or into words. So how we can place the stress here? So complex words are two major types. We have here a word that has affix, it means the stem is there, and compound words like ice cream, armchair. Okay. And then we have affix itself receive the primary stress and we have the word stress if the affix were not there. It means like here pleasant, unpleasant, market, market, marketing. So if we talk about stem, the stem we discussed last time, there is different between affix and stem. Stem is originally in the word, so we cannot change it. The stress uh, remains on stem not the affix but it shifted we have here magnetic and magnet magnetic so we shift the stress from the first to the second or the third syllable let's look at the uh, suffix here we we can find it out uh, if we talk about suffixes so we are here in suffixes in suffixes we can understand that learn better the stem and affix we have to go back and check what do we mean by stem and affix um, we don't need to explain it here but I will upload to you another file that express and explain the affixes and the stem Okay, great. Um, let's look at affixes stem and we have also root. Suffixes carrying primary stress. So we have here to listen to the audio. Audio 11, uh, exercise 1. We also will upload it to you. We have here refugee, mountaineer, Portuguese. So all of these words is very important. We have also Apple, age, A L N full, I N G, like, list. So these words in exercise number two, it means here they show that suffixes do not affect stress placement. It means the stress always, uh, as you see, like mostly in the first. It comes in the first. Like here we have anchor, we have refusal, we have also refusal here refuse based on verb structure it should be in the second syllable and that's very very normal uh, last uh, let's look down suffixes that influence stress in the stem so how we need to know the stem here advantage so advantage is the stem and here we add advantageous so we can see the changes from second syllable placement of stress move to the th third one to the third syllable that's one point let's move more to look at the compound words we have here typewriter and mostly it comes at the beginning with the words with compound structure like teacup, suitcase, sunrise, all of them in the first syllable. 
Second, we have here bad timbers and three wheeler. And last, here, if you look at the second point here, how it moves to the second. The primary stress will be in the second word. Why? Because they mention here the number will not be stress like three second five will not be stressed so totally the stress will be moved to the other word in the compound word and how we know it's compound from the hyphenation here it's dash so we have to understand the hyphenation there and the numbering if there is number it should be in the second word uh, okay then compound functioning as adverbs as usual final stress and there finally compounds that has function as verb like an adverbial here we have ill treat so the word treat take it because we can recognize it it's between the verb and adverbial uh, okay we have here variable uh, stress if we need to discuss it we have to go down to look at word cross bears and in this word class bears we can differentiate between the structure for the same word like here if the word is noun the placement abstract if it's in the structure of the sentence as a noun it will be the placement of the first first syllable if it's verb it will be in the second and you can we can pick an example like here we have present and we have present so the present can be noun or adjective and verb it's already like you can recognize nothing of the verbs the uh, syllable stress or placement of stress can be at the first so you can see all of them nothing but with noun you can recognize all of them here the stress in the first syllable okay <clears throat> that's the point that we need to discuss next we have unit uh, 12 we have here weak forms so what do we mean by weak forms weak forms are strong forms it's quite similar to the point that we discussed before about schwa, the weak syllable and strong syllables. That's instead of saying it, we need here to say to say something about strong forms and weak forms. So uh, something here we need to do, discuss contracted forms. Contracted like we are abbreviated somewhere it's like it is. Here we say it's. We have. We say we've or uh, not or do not it will be don't so these forms it's already uh, shortened and when it's shortened it will become weaker than uh, before and the function here um, when we talk about the following weak forms so for many weak forms when they occur at the end of the sentence so the first point about weak forms we have to understand if it's an, at the end of the sentence like I'm fond of chips uh, or chips uh, chips here I'm fond of chips so what happened here the point that when we need put when we need to put a stress it will become uh, after of chips so here it will be um, very weak form at the end of will be like almost fond of chips almost we cannot stop an of like I am fond of chips it means of here almost hidden or we just show the V sound okay let's continue we have here also when weak form word is being contrasted with another word like what do we mean by contrasted um, like this example this letters from him not to him so it means here I need to uh, show the exact direction and this you raise you you try to raise your voice it, this letter uh, the letters from him not to him so you are here quite 
uh, focus on the letters from him not to him so you focus on to you focus on from this is how to show the contrasting or to show the encountering words that will make a confusion that's why we have to raise our voice in the uh, uh, preposition from and to similar case I travel to and from London a lot so you coordinated here with uh, uh, like uh, the structure to mention to and from and also I work of uh, our work of and about literature and um, like here you try also to talk about literature by showing the word about and that will attract little attention uh, when we form word is given stress here we have you must give me more money y you must give me here almost we try to uh, just minimize the emphasis okay uh, move on to the number like uh, but number four we have here it's good but expensive usually when we talk about pot here it's weak for but it you we need we need to raise our voice a little bit weak form also with that the price is a thing that annoys me so you can see that is not focused here uh, you can just uh, lower your voice on it okay um, let's move on to the last uh, issue here we have final position of at and for I'll see you at lunch so at here it's weak position because it's a preposition for uh, T for two T for two okay um, okay let's talk about the model